What is going on guys? Welcome back to Pat Outdoors. Today we're finally wrapping up Project YZE, YZ 250 electric dirt bike conversion. I got all the wire connectors and adapters that I needed to get this thing turned on and running. So let's get to it. Since the Amorge 72 volt battery pack we ordered didn't come with a charger, I'm temporarily using the five amp charger that came with my BTR pack that I'm using on my 72 volt razor. I just made an adapter to connect it to XT60. Here's what the adapter looks like up close. This side is just a charge port that came with one of my BTR chargers. And then this side is the XT60 mail plug. I just got a multi-pack from Amazon for like 10 bucks. And then I just added a little bit of shrink tubing in between to make it look a little cleaner. I had the charger hooked up to it overnight since the battery pack started at 71 volts when we first got it in. Hopefully it's in the 80s now. It's holding 85.3 volts, so the battery is fully, fully charged. Now we just gotta connect the bigger cables from the battery to the power source and ground post on the controller using this QS8 adapter that came with the battery. This just didn't come pre-wired with connectors, so we crimped on a pair of these six gauge brass terminals and then covered it up with some heat shrink to clean it up. I just got a multi-pack of terminals from Amazon for like 10 bucks since I do a lot of these type of projects. If you are interested in checking out any of the items that we're using for this project, I will have everything linked in the description below. Before we connect the power plug and turn the bike on for some testing, I wanna address something with the rear brake pedal. There used to be a tensioner spring that looped onto this tab on the back side of the pedal that connected to the frame, but it was making contact with the side of the QS motor, so we had to leave that out. And this tab is also still touching, which it's not limiting the range of motion. I just don't like the idea of that making contact with this every time I step on the rear brake. So I'm gonna cut that old tab off and then I'm gonna add a tensioner spring upgrade on the master cylinder side to give the pedal a nice firm modular feeling. And here's what that looks like up close. What's nice about this one is you can adjust how tight or how loose you want the tension to be. I like my brake pedal feeling pretty firm. So I have it on the tightest setting. I'm a little nervous about testing it because I don't know if this is like my other brushless motors where when you connect the power, it'll just like, when you turn it on, it'll automatically it spin the wheel oh. and there's no clutch anymore. So I'm afraid that if I connect this, it'll, my bike's just gonna shoot through the wall. Yeah. So I kinda needed your help to put on the, okay. <clears throat> the stand. You ready? Okay. <laughs> 83.4. Two modes. I don't know what mode does what. Hell yeah. This thing's nuts. Just took the bike out for a quick test ride around the block just to confirm all the electronics and the front and rear brakes are functioning properly. Also wanted to confirm that the chain is properly aligned and tensioned. This is definitely gonna be the fastest bike I own. Uh, I haven't even passed half throttle and, it is more than enough torque that I'm looking for. We weren't able to install the tank though because the bottom side of it has to be trimmed in order to properly clear the battery. So I'm gonna do that now.
cannot even express how happy I am to see this beautiful thing back together. I'm not even gonna wait. Let's go take this thing out right now. Definitely learned my lesson last time with the 72 volt razor. When I first installed that new Kelly controller, I looped the shit out of it. So definitely putting boots on at least. I don't care how silly I look wearing basketball shorts around the neighborhood with some boots on, but I am not injuring my ankle again. Not even gonna full throttle this thing tonight. Oh, so that is one third throttle. Dude, it is freaking nuts. You want to drag race? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. When the different modes, is it like response? Or is it like full, like the amount of power it'll use? I'm honestly not sure. I'm gonna do some testing more when I take it out next time. I just kind of want to do a quick shakedown and make sure nothing's loose yeah. and uh, make sure everything works. But it looks good with all the stuff on it. All the black plastics. That's crazy. Yeah, it's thirty percent throttle. guys well i can't believe we are fully finished putting this bike back together but this is just the beginning of the yz content i want to take this thing out on the street do a top speed run i want to take it out on some trails and i've also got another qs 138 bike coming up pretty soon for y'all so if you are interested in checking that out make sure you stay tuned if you found today's video helpful in any way do me a favor and hit that like button and if you like this kind of content want to keep up with some of my projects consider subscribing to this channel but this is going to be it for today Thank you for watching.